Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Smith's Myths, where I play potentially haunted video games and hopefully don't get cursed. This time we're going to be looking at Pokemon Black Edition, not the retail Black Edition, but the haunted version of Pokemon Red slash Blue, where you have a ghost that curses people and eventually it will curse you and badness ensues. So let's have a look. All right, so I've got it loaded. I've got it full screen. This is the best window I can do without there being a weird border around it that looks all cutesy. So unpause. Hopefully this is all going to work. <laughs> Excellent. Turn the game volume up a bit. Oh, wow, I've not played this in decades. I mean, years. Okay, so, if you want to know more about this uh, horror story, Creepypasta Urban Legend, then just go on to Google and type in Haunted Pokemon Black Edition. Um, and then the, the, hopefully this one will come up. But basically, this is there's a uh, screenshot, uh, uh, there's a person finds um, unmarked black Pokemon uh, Game Boy cartridge, loads it up, and some weirdness ensues throughout the game. So we're gonna, I know a couple of bits, but uh, we're gonna play through it like normal, basically. Uh, how do, how, well, if, as soon as I can figure out how to play. I've not played Pokemon in some time. First, what is your name? New name. New name. There we go. New name. Uh, Mike. All uppercase. Every letter is important as the previous and the, the preceding and the following. Right. So your name is. Mike. It always struck me as weird that he couldn't remember his own grandson's name. Gary. That's right. I remember now. His name is Gary. Mike. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures, and nightmares too. And adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Hello, parental figure. Goodbye, parental figure. So far, so standard. Cramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary? Hmm, let me think. What are you doing here, you ungrateful little shit? Here, Mike, there are three Pokemon here. Aha, they're inside the Pokeballs. Just in case you didn't know, you rapscallion. <laughs> I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I only have three left. What did you do, gamble them? Like, how do you only have three left? What do you do, work them to death? Well, this is, uh, I suppose this is a, a haunted slash creepypasta version, so could be. Do you want to give this nickname to a Charmander? Uh, absolutely. I'm going to nickname it... Bumface the Charmander. I'll take this one then. Gary received a squirrel. Of course he did. Of course he did. All right, see you later, losers. Oh. Hey, wait, mate. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. All right. Gary wants to fight. Wait. Why do I have two Pokemon? Go, bum face. It's the haunted element of this game. How exciting. Uh, switch. Bumface, enough. Come back. Go, ghost. Squirtle is too scared to move. <laughs> Fight. Oh, we only have one move. Curse. Curse. Squirtle is too scared to move. Ghost used curse. Curse. <laughs> 
What happened there? Ghost Cruiser level 3! <laughs> Mike defeated Gary! <laughs> what? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! You know, you picked an alive Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, what? Why, why can I? <gasps> can I fight the trainer? I can! Oh, but it failed, okay. Run. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. My Gramps, my later. <laughs> This is like Pokemon on easy mode. Wild Pidgey appeared. Go, ghost. No noise. Curse. I think I just killed a Pidgey. <laughs> There was no, it fled or was locked out or anything. It's just a cry, a, a weirdly distorted cry as well. And then it's just gone. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, hey, you came from Pallet Town. Yes, I did. Go on then. Okie dokie. Alright, Oak. <clears throat> How is my old Pokemon? I wouldn't know. I've not touched it. <laughs> you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Talented as a Pokemon murderer. Mike delivered Oak parcel. What am I, Amazon now? Jeez. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I, I was too busy not caring about the exposition. You're vomiting all over me. Come on. Go, you got to give me a trainer. I don't just want wild, wild Pokemon for now. I want an actual trainer battle. Oh, hit it off. Hi! I came here with some friends. They're out Pokemon fight. Oh, okay. So you don't want a Pokemon fight then. What about you? No. God damn it. What about you? Ha <laughs> ha! My first victim. <laughs> hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. Okay, friend. You, I'm not sure you know what you're getting yourself in for. Bug catcher. Bugcatcher sent out Weedle. Weedle is about to get turned into paste. Curse. That's <laughs> such a horrific noise. Defeated Bugcatcher. Oh no, Canopy can't cut it. Mike got $60 for winning. Ghost used Curse. The sprite is gone! <laughs> there was a person here! <laughs> there was an another human being here! Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, wait up, what's the hurry? I wouldn't, friend. <laughs> I genuinely wouldn't. <laughs> I feel bad. Not bad enough not to do this, but bad. I give in, you're good at this. Mike got $9 for winning. And claims another victim. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Obliterates the sprite from the game. Right, is this... No, that's the Pokemon Center. Funnily enough, none of my Pokemon need to be healed. <laughs> Odd that.
<laughs> Let's go to the gym. I don't I don't want to fight you. I want the leader. Hello. Hi, right, mate. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter Gym's leader. Uh, Pewter's Gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. <laughs> go, ghost. <laughs> So that's the normal Geodude sound. I'm wondering if this sound is like slowed down or something. Oh yeah, it is. Oh. Ooh, like, who's a level eight? <laughs> Brock is about to use Onyx. Will you switch Pokemon? Absolutely not. Oh, I used to love Onyx so much. Oh, Onyx is too scared to move. This is so weird. Onyx, uh, now he's too dead to move. Go screw to level nine. You defeated Brock. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Mike received the boulder badge. Excellent. Mike got lots of money. Oh God, I can, I can kill Brock. <laughs> I can end gym leaders. Right. Bye, Brock. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a one. This is missing posters outside. <laughs> Pure's age of closed. Brock missing. Oh, I see. So, according to this, there's not much difference in the way you play this version or a red slash blue version, other than the fact you have a ghost. Apart from when you get to the end after the Elite Four. Which means we have to go through the Elite Four. Wait, no. I might not need to. What if I could change... What if I could use codes? I got this. <laughs> There's a thing, isn't there? Yeah, this. I can use something here to give myself the badges, right? That's a thing I can do. Right, so. Oh, shit. Go here, go here. All gym badges. Oh, yeah. That's not going to help, though, is it? Because I'm going to need to get two the Elite Four, which is fine, because I'll just go, I'll go catch a Pokemon and teach it Fly, right? That's, I can, oh no, because I can't go somewhere with Fly unless I've been there before. Fuck. Um, brilliant. So we've now got HM2, which is Fly, in the Pokemon, using some code jiggery. Oh, but it's way more money than I've got. Okay, so we've now got the money to get the HM. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. There. So we've got the HM. That'll be a hundred. A hundred? Oh, now I need a Pokemon to actually teach this to. So I need to go catch a Pidgey. Because I can't go somewhere with fly unless I've been there before. So, <laughs> super quick recap. After about an hour of trying to figure out how I was going to get to the Elite Four, I realized that I could just walk through walls using game shot codes. That's a very easy way of doing it. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I was thinking I'd need to fly to each of the gyms in order to defeat the gym leaders, in order to get the badges. Then I realized I could probably just cheat to get all the badges, which I can. And then I realized I couldn't get to the Elite Four because I would need to be able to fly um, to the Elite Four or at least get so far into the game that I could unlock cut or strength or anything like that. It's not a thing. It's not a thing at all. What I have noticed... <laughs> is this game is mega fragile when you start screwing around with the code. Excuse me. <laughs> now I'm the ghost too. So I, all I need to do is go this way. So I didn't even need the Pidgey in the first place. 
and then don't soft lock the game. God, please don't soft lock the game. Just let me go. Can I miss him through there? Yeah, good. Oh, victory road. <laughs> victory road. Oh, hi. Is that a boulder badge? Go right ahead. I'm even going to take the path and everything. I'm not even going to do anything weird and wonderful. Let's go. Oh, turns out I found out how to make it bigger. Yeah, I've got the soul badge. And I'm walking on water, mother flipper. Save it real quick. <laughs> oh no. I've, I, I've walked through the human. I, that's, that's okay. Got the volcano badge. And the ability to be spectral. <laughs> Earth badge, yep, got that. Thanks. Let me in! Oh, wait. Nope, not that one. Uh, disable. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Let's try that one. Disable. Nope, not that one either. If I walk through a door with this cheat active, it's going to completely corrupt my save. Shit! No! I hate this game. Okay. Is it that one? Yes, thank God. Get out of the way. <laughs> Me and my ghost have business with the Elite Four. Piss off. No. Don't walk through a wall. Or maybe not a rock either. Ooh. <laughs> right, save. Because I can't go through that door. Now, re now disable cheats, disable all, and now restart the Game Boy. We're nearly there, people. We're nearly there. I promise. I promise. Three minutes. It's not been three minutes. Figuring this out has not been three minutes. God bless Game Shark. Enable. Oh no! Alright. Victory Road is the final test for the trainers. Alright, come on then. Come on, lad. Black Belt Dave. Black Belt Dave wants to fight. Black Belt Dave sent out a beefy looking march oak. Fortunately, I have a Spectre of the Dead. End him. <laughs> Savage. Oh, I still get random encounters. Well, we'll sort this out. This video is going to be a friggin' nightmare to edit together. I can feel it. I can't remember which she's which. So I'm just going to open more. One of them is no random encounters. One of them. Is this where I want to go? This smells like where I want to go. Is this where I want to go? Now, I think... Can I just... Can I just skip over this? <laughs> this is a thing? Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. This feels like... What are you? TM17. Excellent. That's fucking... That's the greed for me. 
do, 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 do. This is just a bonus area. And I want a bonus area. You're a legendary Pokemon, aren't you? I don't want you either. I want to get out. I want to leave. What's this? No idea. I don't, I don't think that's... I've been here before! How do exit? At the end of all of this, this is taking me probably... No, I don't want to swap Pokemon. This is taking me a number of hours to complete this uh, through various reasons. This, there better be a curse at the end of this. That's all I can say. Just for the audacity of attacking me, I'm just going to wipe your face of the earth. Because if I go here, and then I go back in here, there's your tombstone, friend. Sucks to be you, because you're dead. There's your little friend, too. Don't you dare. Where's... Where is it? It's here! It's right here! Right. Save. Unless... Can I... No. No! No! Deep regret. Deep, deep regret. Get me out of here. Fantastic. Ah. Are there trainers at this bit? Because I don't, I don't have the patience for this. No, right. Elite Four. Let's go. Come on. Come on, ghost. Don't you, don't you dare. I'm fine, thanks. This is your point of no return, friends. Fucking save. I'm going to archive this save game for future reference. I'm going to just stick it somewhere secret. <sighs> okay. Get the way, Chuckles. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am No One Remembers. I use No One Cares. Some of you may be wondering why the level numbering is inconsistent with previous sections of this video. That's an excellent question. The reason is this game is incredibly fragile and temperamental and I keep breaking it. No, I will not. Because my other Pokemon is a level 2 Pidgey. It's more of a mascot than anything. He's about to use Jinx. <laughs> I like the fact that there's no Pokeball as well. <laughs> It deletes the Pokemon from them. <laughs> I only just know it's that. Oh, Jinx is... Oh, that's not a good noise. Right, mate. <gasps> oh, no, wait. Is there not a... A ghost Pokemon... Trainer... In the Elite Four? Bye, Bruno. <laughs> and that's why we don't talk about Bruno. Ooh, right, save. Quick, quick safety save, just in case this goes horrifically wrong. <laughs> Ragava? Something, something, something. It's our dark side. Something, something, something. Cursed cartridge. Gengar! Let's see how Gengar faces against a ghost. Gengar is too scared to move. Ghost who's cursed. Oh, it does work. Brilliant. <laughs> it's okay, everyone. We're safe. We can still murder ghosts. Oh, -ho, you're something special, child. Yeah, wait till you see this. <laughs> Bye, Agatha. Aerodactyl. An extinct Pokemon. How did you get that? That's genetic engineering, that is. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of a chord that goes against that. That's what, that's what Pokemon needs, more bureaucracy. Oh, hello, rival. Absolutely kick-ass tune, this one. I've got one of them. I mean, it's smaller, but... 
I always loved how derpy Executor looked in comparison to the TV show. Like, the TV show is, like, big and tall and strong here. It just looks like faces with legs. That's it. And that one on the left, what is going on with that one on the left? I defeated Gary. Come here, Gary. I got something cool to show you. See you later, Gary. My Pokemon Hall of Fame is Ghost Level 38. And the most famous Pidgey in the world. <gasps> Many years later. <sighs> so, this is... I'm... I'm me. Oh, wow. I was mega slow. I'm such an old man. Won't somebody please get... Hey, my... What? I don't think this was supposed to happen. Something grew to 114. I've broken this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> Give an ex software tester a, a ROM hack, and this is this is what you get, folks. <laughs> Growling. Look at the health bar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This was almost so close to being being atmospheric. You know, with the Lavender Town music and the old man and the gravestones. And then it went and fucked it. <laughs> uh, gained a boosted day one XP. Alrighty. See ya see you later, Gary. See you later, Gary's ghost. Quick load. There we go. <laughs> no, don't go up there. Okay, so what I think happened there was because I haven't played that bit properly in this game, it still had that event loaded up. Um, so it basically played it as normal, but then got soft locked because Gary doesn't exist there, and oh, everyone's gone. Oh, Gary doesn't exist there, and nobody else does, so. I'm just an old man. I can't walk very well, and my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Is this the market? It smells like the market. Where does Diglett's Cave? Where does Diglett's Cave go? Oh, Diglett's Cave goes just to the north of Pallet Town. Good, good. Diglett dig, Diglett dig. Trio, trio, trio. Diglett dig, Diglett dig, trio, trio, trio. <laughs> I've been doing this for so long, I've lost my goddamn mind. <laughs> wow, this is super obtuse. Like, how was anyone supposed to know that this is... Bastard. I can't get through this, because I haven't cut it down originally. You f f fucking... F Save. Save before I accidentally step on the wrong blade of grass and softlock this goddamn game. Am I controlling this anymore? I don't think I'm controlling this anymore. Let's hope I don't walk anywhere I'm not supposed to. <laughs> ah, I'm just a poor old man looking for his ghost. I, I like that ghost. Uh, I, that ghost has my belongings. I've been mugged. Stop, thief. Save the game. Because if I have to do this bit one more goddamn time, I'm going to explode. I know what we'll do. Let's go home and play the SNES. That's still going to be there because of the atrocious state of retro gaming in this era. Ah. My old snares. This is worth millions now. Oh. So these are all the Pokemon that I cursed. Oh, and all the trainers as well. Go 
ghost wants to fight. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I got a slight shiver then. Uh, run. Can't escape. Okay. Fight. Mike used struggle. Mike's hit with recoil. Ghost dot dot dot. Mike used struggle. Mike's hit with recoil. <laughs> I like the most spray as an old man. Good haircut though, I'm not gonna lie. This is how it all ends. I sound like I'm just trying to open the hand slap the ghost. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Mike, you struggle. Do, 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 do. Ghost used curse. That's it. <laughs> That's Pokemon Black, the cursed Pokemon Black edition. As far as I'm aware, I now have to reset the Game Boy. And my game has been deleted. <laughs> That's Pokemon Black for you. Cursed, ghost-infested Pokemon Black. This was an interesting one. It took way, way longer to do than I would like to admit. Way longer. But <clears throat> we got we got through it. I got to see it all, which is pretty cool. And there were some genuinely chilly moments in there. There were, you know, the bit at the end where the, the music was going really slow and it showed all of the Pokemon that had been, you know, cursed. The fact that it plays the Pokemon's calling, like name calling sound effect in slow motion, that's pretty horrific. Um, and yet the, the gravestones as well, I think that's... All in all, it's, it's, a, it's a well done creepypasta game, to be honest with you. It gave me a bit of a chill. No spooky jump scares, gave me a bit of a chill. And if you found this, you know, if you found this in a pile of Game Boy games, uh, number of years ago, you'd have been like, "This is a this is a thing. This is clearly an urban legend. This is this will kill me in seven days if I don't reproduce this and send it to all my friends." So yeah, all in all, not a bad game. To be honest with you, it sucks that I had to play quite so much of it, but not a bad little game. I like it. So that's everything for myself. Um, this has been the Pokemon Black edition of uh, Smith's Myths. Um, where I play creepypasta games and hopefully don't die of a curse. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, until next time, stay safe. Uh, don't pick up any unmarked Pokemon cartridges, especially if they're painted black. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.